guys. So today we're talking about how not to give a single f and this video is for you if you're feeling like you're worrying all the time that 2020 is just not going your way and you wish you could care a little less you could actually enjoy your life trust me i have actually been there i'm still there and i've learned a few things along the way to allow me to just value my opinion over others so let's just get started shall we we freaking shall all right so my first tip off the bat is if you're trying to care less about the haters you need to start caring less about the compliments if you're really trying to care less when someone doesn't like you you also have to care less less when someone does like you and this is a key tip that I just genuinely learned recently and it's extremely difficult like a few months ago I realized how pathetic it was that I was always refreshing my Instagram likes because I got so excited every time I beat my Instagram like record right and every time I got just like 10 more likes or 100 more likes in my last post I was so happy and I realized it was actually the source of a lot of unhappiness for me because I put so much emphasis and value into that moment the minute I don't get that amount of likes or I don't get those results I disintegrate I, I feel bad about myself I I'm fragile and I hate being fragile I'm like Jade you're a boss ass bitch like you can handle this and I realized by being more mindful and self-aware that by putting emphasis into these external factors you're also putting emphasis into bad haters like you just need to get rid of it all and now I just really try to put less emphasis on the numbers and just kind of extract my emotions from results so whenever I look at Instagram instead of seeing like 10 likes making me happy I just look at 10 likes as 10 extra likes right so that's what I've really learned it's to really just detach yourself from the results in both aspects positive and negative now before you go ahead and comment below jade why are you so numb who hurt you i don't want you guys to extract your emotions from everything i just think it's about being the mindset of like when things are going good humble yourself and when things are going bad call yourself a badass bitch and then you'll kind of like level out in the middle if that makes sense like i remember every good moment i had i told my parents and they would just be like jade you're, you're like you're you're bullshit like you're nothing and then i'm like dad why won't you celebrate it with me but i realized you were actually teaching me how to be humble and how to really like just not like give in to you know external factors also maybe they might have been causing emotional trauma i really don't like to think that my parents were doing that all right tip number two my next tip for not giving a fuck is to be lazy i'm telling you guys if you just give less energy and zero tolerance for bullshit you'll be way more relaxed now part of me does realize how hypocritical this is because i actually never take a day off i always work and i don't like resting now i'm not talking about that workload the workload i'm talking about that you should be lazy about is just having no energy to fix people like people aren't your projects right like having zero tolerance that like it's not your responsibility to care about someone else's bullshit and let me just give a quick little story time so there was this boy that i was like really into we went out had a great time and like he just genuinely didn't call me up for dates i would always have to be the one to like knock on his door to hang out or do anything or even just call like he would not talk to me for months and at that point i felt so bad about myself i was like oh my god what if i'm not wanted what if i'm annoying like i'm not good enough for him and i just was like i had to look myself in the mirror and was like Jade, you're a badass bitch. You don't need to tolerate that bullshit. You could just drop him. So I did. I just stopped talking to him. And, you know, it was definitely painful because I really wanted to still, you know, he's still a good friend of mine, but it was hard. But I learned to just be a little bit respectful to myself that I don't have to tolerate shit that I don't want. I just don't even have to deal with them. And they're not my responsibilities. I don't have to like, tell them to be more responsive to me. I just don't, I just don't have to deal with it. And because of quarantine and everything, I really had the time to sit with myself and try to implement that. So me and him, don't talk as much anymore obviously but now he does actually reach out to me so you know what there is some power to just sticking up for yourself and being like hey that's not cool for me you have to meet me in the middle and if you can't i'm not gonna try and it's definitely really refreshing to try it but really scary also for the first time so my biggest tip is just to know your values and if people don't meet your values even after telling them or trying like just realize that people aren't your projects and you don't need to fix them you could just stop associating with them and you don't need to be mean about it just value yourself so much that people who don't value you don't get to be in your life how about that try it out it's fucking hard but i struggle with it every day but i think it's one of the biggest things to not give a f all right so my tip number three is to do uncomfortable things every single day i think this tip is probably the less frightening out of all of them because you're able to do small things and that over time will build up to a larger self-confidence so one example of this is sometimes when i just feel like it i'll just dance in public like i'll just straight up dance or if i'm feeling really bold i'll just sing in a public restroom like just straight up sing like it could be anything 
from like New York, concrete jungles, and in my made up to like any, like to like renegade, you know, like I will just do that out of no context alone or with friends. My friends don't like it when I do that in public because they think I'm crazy. Long story short, I just like to do things that are uncomfortable. If I feel like singing, I'll just sing. I don't recommend doing this in like, you know, <laughs> like libraries or like, you know, airplanes or places where people want to sleep. But in, <laughs> if you feel like doing it at the beach or with your friends, just be you. And that's one way you can just do something uncomfortable. Actually, now that I think about it, I realize this tip is not to do something that makes me uncomfortable. It's do something that makes other people uncomfortable. And I don't know why I wrote it down like that because I realized I like to make people uncomfortable. It's kind of like my new hobby. I kind of enjoy it though. Huh, I think I just found out something about myself. Okay, I think I found out that I like to practice not giving a fuck by making other people uncomfortable. Okay, scratch that tip. Try and practice making other people really discomforted by just being yourself and just like unapologetic about it. Like whether you want to just say something to someone's face, ask a hard question or just dance, like just do it and don't even explain it. Just, just be you. Now, I really think if you're able to make other people uncomfortable, it will allow you to be uncomfortable with yourself. Like I used to not like confrontation where I didn't want to say anything to offend someone or I just didn't want to draw attention to myself. But then I realized how much of that behavior really just prevented me from doing what I wanted to do. Like I slowly stopped making videos at, on YouTube for a while because in high school I was scared what people would think about my content. I used to stop like making art and paintings because I thought like I was never going to be good enough. So a couple years ago, I started to reverse my approach and start to prioritize my comfort over someone else's. As long as I'm not hurting someone, I think it's okay. So you can see me in public just being fucking annoying and weird, but that's okay. All right, so my fourth tip is to throw out expectation. I really believe that you can be ambitious and also have no amb like expectation at the same time. I think a part of this tip is just to do your best and accept the end result no matter what. Be so confident in your input, not the outcome, that nothing else really matters. Because when it comes to your professional life, right? My job is making videos for brands. I have to onboard clients. Running a company is all about revenue, right? I can't control how much money I make. I genuinely believe that because as much as I like to think I can, there's so many external factors that you can't control. Like for my business, right? I can't control the coronavirus. I can't control if someone pays me or not. I can't control if people lie to me. I can't control a lot of things. But what I can control is my input. You know, how many meetings I take, how many days I show up, the work I put in and the passion and energy I put into my company and building a team, right? So I really think that you just have to be able to like do your best and then like sometimes just close your eyes and be like, okay, whatever happens, I'm okay with. The best example I have for this is I write a ton of proposals for any brands that want to work for me or have videos was made by my company and literally like two out of 10 companies say yes. Like most people don't pay me. <laughs> like it's just that. And I realized it's part of the job. And sometimes I just write a proposal and I just don't have expectations. Like if they say yes, they say yes. If they don't, they don't. And it's, that's it. And I realized like making that a standard for yourself and not being mad if you don't get it is like one of the most refreshing and weight lifted off your shoulder feelings ever. I really recommend to trust yourself and fall in love with the process over the result. And you'll be able to be happy with any expectation. And I also have to say you don't always have to be happy all the time like I think the right word for it is acceptant of the situation like today I was having like a straight on panic attack and even if you don't give a shit like you can still have anxiety I just want to make that clear because this morning I was just like so stressed because I had this presentation and the brand was basically saying to me how I don't know anything like I, I I'm I, I basically don't know shit and you're too young because I'm 19 and I got really uncomfortable. I was like, oh my God, like this company thinks I'm stupid. And I had to like turn off my computer and just take a walk. And I started to have a full blown panic attack this morning. And you know, now I'm fine, I'm chilling, but <laughs> I just had to sit down with myself and saying, I feel like I'm not good enough and I accept this emotion and that's okay. It doesn't mean I'm not good enough. It just means I'm having a feeling that's temporary and it's okay to have that. So, you know, I, I just want to make that clear that I'm not unbothered, unpleasant apologetic, like crazy Gen Z, like doesn't give a shit vibe all the time. I just learned to really accept any state of emotion and you don't have to always be happy like sometimes not giving a fuck is kind of just being complacent and be like whatever <laughs> so i just really recommend to understand in your process of maybe not giving as many shits just to give yourself that space to feel bad sometimes and it's okay like i accept that i feel like shit and i'm chilling so with that being said throw out your expectation and be okay with uncomfortable feelings all right so my last and final tip by the way, this coffee slaps. I posted on my Instagram a tutorial of how to make my coffee. If you want to follow me, you can. If you don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so my tip number five is to reinvent yourself every year. 
I genuinely think if you really care about someone, you're probably bored. Like, do you know how many times, like, especially with boys, like, I'm like, oh my God, he didn't text me back. Oh my God, he didn't this. Like, it's typically when I had nothing better to do. I'm not gonna lie. And that's, at least that's for me. But when I'm busy, when I'm working towards a goal or a future, or I know myself, I could care less. So if you find yourself worrying a lot, get fucking busy. Like, what's your goal? Where are you trying to go? Because I personally experience this time after time. So what I do is I like to reinvent myself every year. If I'm bored, you could be busy in your work, but if you're not reinventing yourself or coming up with something new, you could still be bored in your busy work, right? So what I've been doing lately is I set that with myself every year. and like, what do I want to achieve this year? And how can I improve from last year? And what is something I've never done before? So recently I've been surfing. I've been trying to get better in my content and in the, my presentations I've been making. And most recently I dyed my hair f***ing blonde. Like I have never ever dyed my hair blonde and my Asian parents did not approve, but here we are. And I, I just been doing small things, whether it's physical or mental, to just know that like, I want to reinvent myself. Last year I didn't surf. I have really bad asthma, so I really can't do a lot of physical activity. And now I'm surfing every morning at 5 a.m. Last year I had black hair, now I'm blonde, and I'm okay with that. Last year I was working on a software company, and this year I'm working on a media production company. So like, things change, things happen, and I'm cool with it. I also think you should be consistent in what you like, but when I say reinvent yourself, it's just if you do find yourself getting bored or giving a shit about other people, just find something new and interesting. Oh, another example is like recently I've been painting a lot. Like just fucking, like look at my pants. I literally just painted this just, just for fun. I also have some paints in my room if you guys want to see. And I've just been having a dandy old time alone just painting. And it's just been really comforting to know that I don't need money, success, or validation to be happy. And I think in a combination of all these tips, I've realized that a part of not giving a f is not just saying like, I don't give a f it's just to genuinely value yourself so much that other circumstances, other factors, people's thoughts about you, the money you make doesn't really matter. And it's definitely something I haven't completely mastered. This morning, I had a panic attack. A few hours later, right now, I'm feeling fucking good. And I think if we just need to accept as humans, this is the process of life. And I don't even know the fuck I'm saying because I'm like 19, I don't know anything about life. But from my experience, I've left high school, left a lot of friends and have started businesses that didn't work. And did work. So through my experience, this is what I've learned and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you don't, that's fine too. <laughs> Love you guys, Darmination. You guys are dope. Comment, like, subscribe. Oh, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, just comment below your thoughts or let me know your favorite tip of this video that you are going to implement today. I love you guys so much. Peace squad. Bye.